So here we have Pisae sicensis, commonly known as Sitka spruce in the Panaceae family. So this is actually the largest of all of our spruces. It can grow up to 180 feet tall and up to five feet in diameter, sometimes even larger than that. It typically has a fairly open, almost scruffy looking crown and pendulous branches that reach almost to the ground. The base of the tree is often swollen or kind of buttressed. So this tree ranges from Alaska and British Columbia down into Northern California. Down in Washington, Oregon, California, it's primarily found along the coastal fog belt, usually no more than about 50 miles inland. In terms of the bark, the bark is typically thin and scaly when it's young, and then can develop to about an inch thick on your larger trees. And it will form these big, scaly, almost kind of cookie or puzzle piece shaped blocks that will fall off the tree. The needles, are four-sided and unlike the Pisae Inglemanii where all of the needles lean forward or point forward, the needles of your Pisae sicensis, some needles will point forward and some are perpendicular to the stem. In addition to being four-sided, they are fairly flattened and in fact to me they feel even more flattened than your Pisae abies. So they do not roll easily at all between your fingers especially compared to your Pisae inglemanii, um, abies, and other spruce. They are typically about an inch in length, and they are sharp and pointed at the tip, which is characteristic of your spruce. Also characteristic of their spruce, if you were to grab hold of these twigs, they're very prickly feeling. So spruce do not give very friendly handshakes, unlike something like your Pseudosuga menzaceae. Those needles are also borne on woody pegs known as sterigma. The underside of the needles has very bright white bands of stomatal bloom. And often even from a distance, you can see the sort of silvery appearance of the stomatal bloom on the underside of those needles because those needles are pointing forward. The cones are oblong. They're about two to four inches in length and the scales are papery and sort of yellowish tan in appearance. They have eros margins and slightly pointed bracts. Pisae sicensis is the second most important plywood in the Northwest. It has a very high strength to weight ratio and really good shock absorbency. In fact, it's been used a lot in aircraft construction. However, the well-known spruce goose was not actually made of a pisae or spruce, but rather out of birch. The wood of your Pisae sicensis is also very resonant, so it's often used for instruments like violins and even for pianos. The wood is also used for lumber, general millwork. Um, the cambion can actually be mixed with cranberries and made into cakes or chewed. And then the pitch has been used as glue or even for waterproofing. So a very useful tree and very important ecologically. So many of the Pisae or spruces, such as this Pisae sicensis, are affected by adalgids, which will create these things that are often called pineapple galls on the tree. So don't confuse these with the cone. Those are actually caused by a type of insect.